Today we're going to be doing a realistic marble in the Caran d'Ache Luminance Color Pencils. So I'm going to start my drawing. You just need something round. It could be a lid to a jar or um, anything round to get the size of the marble that you want to do. Now I'm going in with my white color pencil and I'm just kind of sketching in where my basic outlines are and so that we can go in and we can start filling in with all of our colors. So I'm going in with number 802 which is a light gray color and I'm just adding that in to start deepening up some of those areas. And then my darker gray is number 495. There's just a tiny bit of that. And then we're going to go in with the 181 and start filling in our areas where the marble, where it looks blue and in our part of our shadow. So I'm going in with a really light coat and then I'm going to add a little bit of white to blend that out. Um, and we're going to put our whites in. We're using the Strathmore Tone Tan Paper for this exercise today so that the white really shows up on that Tone Tan Paper. So we're going to map in where all of our um, bright highlights are with the white pencil and still using light layers and I'm going to add in where some of that reflection is on the, um, where the surface that it's sitting on. Now we're going to go in with our 162 color pencil and add a little bit of blue where that blue stripe is. And then where the red stripe is, I'm going to go in with an orange color. And the reason why I start with orange is I want to keep that red kind of bright underneath um, because that ribbon that goes through the glass uh, marble um, has a couple of tones where it twists inside the marble. Some parts of it look darker and some look lighter. Um, so I'm starting in with that orange color and the same way with the blue. I'm using the two different colors of blue. So in between where those ribbons are, I'm putting a little bit of white down because it's where um, some more of the glass shows through those ribbons. So you want to keep that um, light and bright. And we're just going to keep going in and we're going to keep adding light layers and blending the previous layers together with it. So you can see we're starting to get kind of a translucent effect on the marble. And then I'm going in where our deeper tones are, back in with a little bit of that gray. And then we're going to add some more red into that um, red part of the ribbon. So the orange still shows through. The reason why you want to layer is it just gives you a much richer effect um, on your finished product so that that orange part really shows through and brightens up the ribbon so that it kind of looks like it's twisting and turning inside the glass. And then we're just going to deepen that up with the red. And we're going back in with our white and I'm going to add some more blue as well. With color pencil, you get your richest looks when you layer multiple colors together. Um, this way some of your underlying layers show through and um, your upper layers will blend with those bottom layers. It just gives you a much richer effect and a much more hyper realistic look to the drawing than just going in with one red or one blue. So you want to mix and blend as you're going right on the paper. I will put a list in the description below the video of all the colors that I used today of the Caran d'Ache Luminance Pencils. And this way, if you guys want to draw along with me, you'll have all of the materials. Um, and if you're using uh, polychromals or you're using Prismacolors, you can just find colors that are similar um, to the tones that I'm using here. I will put the reference image on my community page. You can hop over to that community tab on my main page and find the reference image and you can draw along with me as we go during this exercise today, which will make it a little easier for you to see exactly what I'm doing. I want to talk a little bit about papers. 
um, just for a second. Normally I use uh, Strathmore 400 series Bristol smooth paper um, and I usually do my drawings on white paper. Today I thought I'd try something a little bit different with the tone tan paper. Um, I really kind of like using this tone tan paper in certain exercises. I think this would have come out um, completely different on a white paper. Uh, the look would have been totally different because I don't need to pop those white highlights quite as much because you have the bright white paper. Um, but I, maybe I will try to do this project again on a white paper and then we can compare the exercises and you can see how different paper changes the look on different drawings. So um, that would be a, a good exercise for you to kind of take a look at. So, but today we're just using this tone tan paper and I kind of like it, um, but I do really like the crispness of a white paper and I think this marble would have popped a lot better maybe on a white paper. But I will try that exercise um, for you and we'll, we can compare them down the road. Let me know in the comment box below whether you tried um, a toned gray paper or a toned tan paper or whether you prefer the white. Um, I'm always interested. I see a lot of drawings on Instagram and they all like this toned paper. Um, and I don't use it that much, but I thought I'd give it a go today. Let me know what you think. And I really love hearing from you guys. And I do get back to each and every one of you. Um, I like to have that little bit of banter in the comment section. Um, it makes me feel closer to you guys and kind of gives me an insight as to um, what you're thinking and what your thoughts are on my different tutorials. If you guys want to see a slower tutorial and have the whole drawing from start to finish, you can hop over to my Patreon page. For a small monthly fee, you get access to everything in my library, which I am in the process of loading a lot more videos on there right now. Um, so you can hop over to that page, you'll get the full length drawing. So if something takes me three hours, you'll get the whole three hours. I give you the reference photos, I give you the materials list, everything you need to succeed to do this drawing. Um, so I have full length of a lot of my YouTube tutorials, but I also have a lot of stuff that you won't see on YouTube. So exclusive content just for my Patreon page. So I'll leave the link in the description box below. You can hop over there and check it out and I will see you on that platform. This little drawing took me about an hour from start to finish. So it was a quick little project and I really wanted to try this toned paper and um, see how what my effect was um, on the finished product. So um, I know a lot of people like to know how long it takes me. I draw a little quicker than most people, but um, don't be discouraged. Take it, do it in your own time. And I really love doing this for you guys. If you find my tutorials helpful, I'd really love to hear from you. Consider subscribing to my channel and happy art.